Hello. Hello. I'm black. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Too black. Too or black not black for enough. proper society. No, yeah. no. For <laughs> everyone, not black enough. He's like the accumulation of 20 flavor flaves. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I like how he it is... only gets large, or like right there when I'm talking, and I guess I am black. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Three Guys in a Microphone. Three Guys, One Mic. Woo! <laughs> Either one. <laughs> I don't care. They no. Call me Big Mike. Jackass. Okay. What? <laughs> Michael Orr. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? You got really depressed and angry when we were having fun. And then you're like, I, I, I hate the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Blindside. blindside. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a terrible movie, by the way. Have but you like, seen that movie about deep space? It reminds me of you. Deep space? Because you're, so, you're just as dark. Oh. <laughs> 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 All, right. All right. All right. What should we kick off with? Um. 80, or, 812 pound man. Yes. yes now there's this guy, a Londinier. Londinier? Yeah. Is that how? Yeah. Not at all. That's not oh, all of this okay. kind of a joke. Just, I was being satirical. But never oh, mind okay. that now. I mean, good enough. Our London resident has just weighed in at 812 pounds and might be the world's fattest man. You know, if you think about it, how do you get to 812 pounds? One, you think it'd be very expensive to eat all that food all the time. <laughs> And what job are you going to get by the time you're like 500? Actually, you thanks to the McDonald's the value menu. menu. Yeah, the value <laughs> menu. There you go. The dollar menu. <laughs> <laughs> they walk in the stores like, go get the boxes. Then we sit on the side for them. 30 McChickens in one box. You like, want this meat raw? I mean, come on. For the Super Bowl, you could get like 20-piece chicken nugget for five bucks. Oh, it was like 50 chicken nuggets. For like what? That. Dude, yeah, Lord. You might as well just say, kill me now. Yeah. Well, well, give I mean, a gun. I mean, how do you, that food doesn't really like digest right either. So Uh-oh. a year later, then they, they're gonna be good. It's gonna be gone. <laughs> it's still gotta oh, deal with God. the calorie intake. <laughs> they're gonna need a, a colonic after that. A what? Colonic. Gas. What's that? That's where they shove a hose up your anus, start shooting in water, and then you oh. evacuate your bowels like there's no tomorrow. Wow, that sounds painful. Actually, it's not, but it gets you clean. Uh, it sounds painful though. <laughs> <laughs> so I, mean, I guess uh, that's the last di- like resort effort right there. It's if you eat a lot of gum or you have a lot of blockage. A lot of gum, really? Well, gum doesn't digest right either. Yeah, no, isn't it like ten years? But anyways, back to the eight hundred and twelve pound man. It's oh, gone. my mom lied yeah. to me. <laughs> gone in three days. She's like, you're stuck in your system for ten years. years. I'm like. I thought, oh my god, I'm so stupid. And on this episode, Aaron learns the shocking truth that his mom was being hyperbolic about how long gum stays in your system. Maybe she thinks it's ten years. Too. That's what I'm thinking. It's, it's three. It, I was about to say three years. Three days. Three days. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna Google this later. <laughs> I'm Google this <laughs> later. I've a lot of gum. 812 pounds. That's that's a tad ridiculous. Yeah. That's like shy of like a, a thousand. Tad, yeah, tad shy of a tad thousand. thousand. I thought I was big. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you Aaron feels so much shame. That's easily twice Aaron, my weight. Size doesn't matter, right? No, it matters. <laughs> it matters. <laughs> yeah, it matters because you can kill someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he, fe- if he fell on you, think about that. You'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Mass size acceleration. <laughs> I'm glad that that's what this, the hell the science t- teachers are proud for teaching you that. It's like now they know that you know how to calculate how fast a fat man could kill you. That's, right. pre- that's pretty much all you learn in like physics in high school. Mass times acceleration. Oh, memorize this. Uh, no, that's chemistry, not that. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm going to take physics in um, college? Probably. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you cool. have to, though. Don't you or no, you don't have to. You just need to take like a science. Yeah, depending on your degree. I'm getting associate science, so I'm going to end up taking it. Crap, I don't want to take physics again, no. You don't have to. Yes, I do. No, you don't. His heart broke. Wait. I, I'm doing an associate, associate of science. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> no, no. I'm doing it because I'm learning engineering. So am I. You doing engineering now? Yeah. I've, so, I've been. So. What kind and of? I'm the crazy Computer. guy who's going to try to make it in film. They're going to be successful. I'm going to blow my brains out in 20 years. Back to the 812-pound man. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Cole. We'll make sure to attend your funeral. Thank you. With our millions of dollars. <laughs> Bury me in the money. <laughs> yeah, right. If we add our weight together, do we equal 800? No. I don't even think so, because I'm like 2'9". I'm 180. You're like 300. Yeah. 
We're like 200 pounds short. We're half this guy. Yeah. It, Together, we're, we're about <laughs> half this guy's guy. weight. I don't think that guy is there. You know what I mean? He's just a face, and then he's somewhere stuck in all that. Yeah, he's he just is. a blob. He's like, hey, you go? Stay he's, he's, yourself in. Get he's me literally out just here. a... <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah. Guillermo's body, but like fat, just there, like. <laughs> hey guys, can you move these there? flaps out? Like this flaps out the way so I can see what's it's going on. It's pretty much and just he... big round orb of flesh, and some guy falls into him. And you see this like quadro like figure, and him is like, get to, get your ass to Mars. <laughs> and he feels all that too, all eight hundred pounds. It's like, uh, can you uh, lift up some fat right here? Put but, the fan on it. Oh, uh, thank you. So how God. proud does this make us to be Americans? Because that's right? not our country. They keep saying we're fat. Yeah. Proven wrong. We just lost a large chunk of audience, though, by making fun of everyone else. Ah, whatever. <laughs> oh, man, it's all good, you know. Haters uh, gonna hate. We, down and straight. I like everyone. London uh, people. I love everyone. Oh, okay. well, uh, no, no, let's not. You only uh, love their women. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. What a horn dog. You make me sound like a horn dog. Because you Cause are you one. <laughs> I'm not a horn dog. No, about... that, that, that mad genius is, though. Oof. But speaking of women, let's talk about the one who beat her ten-year-old son during anger management. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but she was a hand-fisted, hand-fisted segue at best, but I liked it. So let's keep going. <laughs> I mean, did anyone try to stop her? I guess I mean, it sounded like it because it's just like, oh, she beat her child. It's like it said nothing during about... an anger management class in their house. I'm surprised the guy was. I guess the guy doing the anger management wasn't getting paid enough. He's just like, this is entertainment. <laughs> That's not Nancy. Nancy, that's not good for your. That's Nancy. bad. That's what we call bad touch, Nancy. That's what we call bad touch. Bad touch. Oh, oh she's right there wailing on the, the kids. kids. Like, help, help me, please. Call nine one one. Bad touch. Oh, uh, that's two points off your score. Or just really? holding back your own progress. <laughs> you're not actually gonna try to help the poor child. Dang. No, that'd be stupid. <laughs> Man. <laughs> He's care. ten year old. Ten years old. It's about time he learns the harshness <laughs> of life lessons. <laughs> it's about that time where you know he has to fend for himself. That reminds me of that uh, Family Guy episode when that plane crashed and it was giving scenarios of this happened, that happened. It's like, and this will happen if uh, the plane crashed, everyone died, but one man he went, went home, home and, and mercilessly beat his me. wife. He's, just, he's like, Sam, like, she's like, why, why? Is this because I overcooked the roast? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> but let's talk about her character. She is 30 years old, and is her, her official title she's given herself is a, fish, uh, a professional baby maker. <laughs> Make a baby oh, with her. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> you know, you kinda, uh, <laughs> I, I like the action, but not the babies. <laughs> not the babies. It's like, can I get the making part, but not the baby part? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Can I get one making hold the baby? And it Please. sounds like to me that she should not be having any more kids because she's already <laughs> beaten the other one. And she also left two kids in her car while she went to shop around in Kroger. Was this hey. during the summer? Yes. During ah, the summer. Pico summer. Windows closed. Cl- windows closed. Nine and eight year old. Poor, wait, can't the kids just unlock the door from the inside? <laughs> now she had the child locks on. Oh, that's right. She's oh. looking for attention. Oh, yeah. Or she's just... She's going to get it from Aaron, because Aaron's like, she's attractive, no. though. <laughs> yeah. Aaron No. Was, Aaron was the anger gotcha. management guy, and he's like, I'm going to let her do this. Cause... I have... <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Is this a metaphor for something you want to do later? No, 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 no. no. I have morals, dang it. No, you don't. Yes, <laughs> are you kidding me? Y'all make me seem like I'm way worse than I really am. Yeah, well, that, that's the fun part about it. <laughs> we feel slightly better about ourselves. I, and we just tear you down a lot. I yeah. think up here, not down there. I no, you see, I'm, I'm the opposite. I think with my other head. Oh. Yeah. Much wah, wah, wah. I don't know. But, but no, that's 90... Nine point nine percent of guys. I try to I try to use my brain. Yeah, it's worked out so far. I like Robin Williams' quote about that. You know, have you seen that? Is enough blood to power the human brain? But it's like um, it's like God made one fatal mistake when He gave a man both a brain and a penis, especially since He only gives him enough blood to run one at a time. (laughs) Uh, Robin Williams knows. Yeah, <laughs> if you that might actually. He was saying, really actually was just like if you think about it, put his fingers up to his chin. He's like, I'm really pondering this philosophy major. That's, right. that's true. Robin Williams, philosophizer of the 
universe. 21st century? My yeah. Hero. 21st century Plato? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I want to meet this guy. Oh, is he alive? Robin yeah, Williams? Yeah, totally. I don't Robin know who he is. Totally alive. Have you seen Jumanji? Yeah. He's the main guy. Guy, yeah. He was the guy in the board game. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa Jumanji? Hey! <laughs> not, the, not the hunter guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? No? Not the hunter. hunter. That's not that's not Robin Williams. The guy who him? was in the board we called him Jumanji because he looked like a character from Jumanji. Yeah. People weren't clever with the name and they didn't want to call him the hunter because it'd take too long to explain. Oh, he looks like the hunter from Jumanji. You know the yeah. board movie about yeah. the board game. So we're not talking about the hunter. No, no. Okay, we're talking about Alan. I don't. Remember. Actually, have you seen? Pat I haven't J- seen Jumanji. Pa- pa- Jumanji. Pa- Jumanji. 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 <laughs> Jumanji. <laughs> Easy money, but, but uh, no, no, uh, no. Have you seen Patch Adams? Okay. Okay. Well, I was, uh, was going to say Flubber. Flubber, yeah. No. Oh Dang. Wow. Like, I don't watch movies often. Like, those are... Have you seen Old Dogs? No. Oh, wow. I'm so... no yeah, it's actually pretty good. Good thing you didn't. I heard that movie <laughs> sucked horrendously. Actually. I liked it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you also like the band. But... You know, I was going to oh, say. Oh, and he didn't catch that. Uh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> no, um, I was gonna say you know Aladdin, but you, you know you can't. Let's really get tell. one thing Arabian. straight. He's uh, not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't catch that one. <laughs> uh, you remember when I got on uh, H's Facebook and I posted, "Let's get one thing straight." Dot dot dot. No, oh, you not. <laughs> it got so many likes. I'm like, dang, that must have been a good one. <laughs> uh, wasn't everyone's like, not what? <laughs> And you know, probably A doesn't get those kind of clips. No, no. African nudist bitch. What? I don't get it. What? Speaking of people who can't understand basic things, how about that guy who broke into a grocery store, covered himself in chocolate and peanut butter, and ran amok? Hey, I think that guy got it all figured out, okay? It's just like one day you wake up wearing nothing but boots and be like, hey, I like chocolate and peanut butter. butter. They go well together. So. It should go well with me. Rub myself down, you know. It's like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> I mean, if he covered his whole self, I mean. Well, from what yeah. I understand, he literally broke through the window, the paint, pine, uh, oh. pane glass window of the grocery store, went to the section of chocolate and peanut butter where they were at or where they're close to each other, and just started coating himself in it. Then used up all the fire extinguishers, chasing away all the staff. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so no one confronted this guy. <laughs> and then, before he left, he grabbed a crap load of NyQuil and spelt out, I'm sorry, on the ground, and then ran off. I was would've... later arrested by police. Could he not speak? <laughs> Is that why he was using the NyQuil? <laughs> I definitely would have left that guy alone. I would have, I would have quit immediately. Like he's gonna pull out a gun. I'm not sure where. Maybe in those boots, because that's the only place he can hide it. No, but, no, no, uh, no. He's gonna shoot dick bullets at me. You don't understand. <laughs> no, no, no. He's gonna pull a tennis revolver from his rectum. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah, come on. You guys act like it's such a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time. I know. It's like, oh, you messing the new gangster style. Now. It's like, oh, you mess with me. He's like, nah, it's not the backpack. He's like, one second. Oh, oh. Yeah, hey. hey. You, 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 you just reach down, you pa- can't wear your pants around, and then you just go through the bottom right here, and you're like, boom. You're like, wait, 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 hold on. You're like, ah. Uh, boom. You're like, plops down. You're like, all right. Y- y'all know oh. how sagging originated, right? No. It goes like, uh, you know how the guy's like, oh, I'm gangster. I'm sagging my pants, whatever. Yeah. That originally started in prison. For uh, guys that pretty much wanted to present themselves, saying pretty much easy access. So if really? they're in the shower, if they're, if they're in the shower, they recognize them when they're saying, "It's like, hey, go ahead, anybody, you know, anybody's up." Like, no, and man. so, and, and that, so, how would you feel if he did that though? And he always dropped the soap, but it never happened. Would you just feel rejected? You're like, I, I feel so ugly. I feel like hey, hey, hey! No one wants none of this. No. So, so no, you're too eager. <laughs> for all those guys that sag their pants, that pretty much means like, hey, plow me. You know I mean? so. so that was a large portion of a former high school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So wow. Many people. They, they, I mean, I don't feel too bad for them because you're sagging your pants. That's retarded. I've been like, hey, what are you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, quarter. <laughs> yeah. Oh... Wow. High school. High school. Do you guys notice that after we left, all like the good stuff started happening? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that's yeah that happens like. Not I, necessarily true. Remember we got out for that one week because of the snowocalypse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Which yeah, we, we didn't get any snow this year so far. Yeah, like uh, it was snowing last night. I'm like, yes, it's snowing. And then I wake up this morning, look up, and I'm like, God dang it, <laughs> that is not right. I didn't want to go to school today. You know, he's going to school, and he's like, I want to learn something. Dang it. <laughs> and then he just starts beating himself in the face. He's like, I'm going to show you. I'm going to unlearn things while I'm here. <laughs> Even proper grammar. Dude, I would just sleep. <laughs> What's the worst they can do? Kick you out? Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, that yeah. is true. Yeah. <laughs> what are they going to do? Punish you? They can actually hurt you? Yeah. yeah. They can actually kick you out this time. <laughs> I, know, it's late. I, I forgot about the new stuff. Oops. Uh, uh, is he going to? No. Is he? No, he's no. not. No. God bless you. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. You don't have to say it if I actually sneeze because that's like advance. <laughs> I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> to jump talk it, topics because I can't come up to say <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Preemptive strike. Strike right there. Wow. Because I can't jump. Let's talk about that crazy dad who shot up a laptop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... That guy. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Good parenting. Yeah, I mean, that looked like an expensive laptop, too. Uh, Waste of bullets, and just seems like a complete jerk. I wouldn't want him as a dad. Yeah, I'm going to be out here in my cowboy stuff shooting up your laptop, top. because this is how I, I express I mean, myself her, her when misses, I'm mad. I think they're both wrong, and everyone's just like... Of course. Well, they're both idiots. She's like, I'm going to write a bunch of dicky things about my parents, and the parents are like, I'm going to shoot your laptop. I'm like, <laughs> that's the first that's, go-to response, isn't it? It's, it's like running into a wall, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> No one wins. <laughs> yeah, just go kind of broke. <laughs> yeah, no, right? I spent a hundred and thirty dollars on software for this thing. I'm like, what kind of cheap software did you buy, right. there, pops? <laughs> I right. guess Windows. Yeah. W- Word. Maybe. <laughs> Word. <laughs> do you have to pay for? It? Yeah. Something well, I mean, do. I bought Word. How much was that? Like one thirty. <laughs> Wow. 130, 150 around there. Wow. He literally just bought her Microsoft Word. And he's yeah. so expensive. This expensive software that I bought. <laughs> you it's know. called Word Browser. Come, processor I mean, comes with that. The only reason I bought it is because I need it for school. Yeah. I didn't even know it cost money. I nah. I found out. Well, some computers come with free. I mean, I spent 200 bucks on Photoshop. Damn. Really? Is it that expensive? I thought it was free. That's what student... Photoshop? Yeah, I thought it was free. Just like, hey, go with Photoshop. With your no. Life. Oh, well, I guess I know nothing. <laughs> I thought they had a trial version. They do. Oh, that's know. 30 days. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, uh, well, I doubt I'd be any good at Photoshop <laughs> anyway. I'm pretty good. Arts and crapsy. I'm pretty terrible. I remember once I photoshopped a no eye koala and it freaked Guillermo oh, here out. The what? I was like, get that off the computer. <laughs> photoshopped an eyeless koala. Oh, I saw that. I remember. Didn't I see that? Yeah, you were here for that. Yeah, that freaked me out. It was, it's so easy to do, and it's so easy to scare people with it, because then I just type in the bottom, and it's like, I can smell the eucalyptus yes. on you. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever saw a koala like that, and they said that to me, I'd be like, yo, uh, I'm out. I'm glad you're dying see, <laughs> see, exactly. as a species. That's a, a true minority for you, because think about it, in all the movies, the white guy... The white guy always have to see, hey, what's going on in there? And the minority's like, hey, see you later, later. man. I ain't messing with <laughs> <like> that. Nah. <laughs> you know, as, as much as I like to think that I'd, be, you know, stop something, in reality, I'd be like, uh-uh, uh-huh. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, it, if there was a shootout and I could possibly stop it, I'd be like, nope. See I'm going to be a hero. I was like, no, I'm going to be alive the next day. That's yeah. what I'm going to be. <laughs> I'm not risking my life nice for all you people. Oh. Screw that. Right. So how about that purple squirrel? That purple squirrel? Yeah, remember we pulled yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what there is to say other than there's... It's purple. There's a purple squirrel, yeah. and that made... That was magical. Does uh, that, Naturally that, purple. It wasn't even just a bunch of kids is, with is a bunch of spray a, paint who can... So, oh, they actually board. sprayed the... No, no, no. It was no, naturally... It, it was oh, okay. naturally purple. Yeah, so like saying, uh, is that a way to show its dominance? Kind of like how the, you know, how the gorilla <laughs> silverback <laughs> grows the white man or whatever. It's like, I yeah, guess it's dominant. technically a way... Even Dumps. though it doesn't look like it's bigger than any squirrel, yeah, it kind of screws its camouflage it into trees a little bit. Just, don't you? <laughs> Maybe you had it just like perfectly hidden, and then an eagle swoops down and gets it. Like, wait, I was hiding. Oh, did. Oh, it's just one of those purple trees. Leave it alone. <laughs> Cheating. <Jeez. laughs> it's a purple branch. Giant, a some giant creepy mushroom. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. 
But the camouflage ain't no joke. I've watched those. Uh, I wonder if it's a poisonous squirrel, then. You know, like how in the rainforest, all the colorful, colorful animals always are yeah, poisonous. But that's like rodents and stuff, though, usually, right? Like snakes or. Like snakes, reptile. not a no, rodent. I'm reptile. reptile. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what made you think a snake was a rodent? <laughs> I was like, it's are you sure you want to go actually. for that degree in science? <laughs> this is quite opposite, actually. Wait, so <laughs> if a snake was a rodent, wouldn't it eat itself? Hmm. hmm. Think about and it. And that's where the picture of the snake constantly eating itself. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. They both start with an R. I got confused. Keep okay. me over. <laughs> Dang it. Now I was thinking something. Uh, oh, what was it? The thing that... Got, free, but just talking about random facts about mammals that kind of freaked us out. Did you know that a platypus is venomous? Yeah, uh, I did. I didn't know that. So know. aquatic science is... Yeah, I'm not messing with a platypus, then. Yeah, yeah, it's back pocket poison contains like... poison. It's not absurdly it, horrible. It, it, but it, you it, need it to go see a doctor. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those, you're going to be sick for a while. Because I know it's like... Not, like yeah, it's not going to kill you. It's like, not like a like... worse... It's like, they're worse than water moccasins, and you get clawed, and then you're just like... Ugh. Yeah, I know some <laughs> some things, like your poison's like, well, don't even bother. Yeah. It's over, man. Unless you got a portable doctor. Even then... Game over, man. Game over. It's like, oh, why did you ever... You know, since we're talking about poison, if one of you guys ever got bit in the crotch by, like, a snake... Would you not suck it? No. Dang. Wait, I that's how you, you get it out? It's like sucking up... Well, it's yeah. a way of suck. That yeah. It does... You'd still need an anti-venom shot, but it's a way to just help Delay prevent it. it really. Dude, I need you to suck my balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There was a, there's a picture on my guy. It was, like, a Rage comic, and it had that, and he's like, he's like dude... He's like call, like, call a doctor. I think I got bit in the crotch. He's like, all right. And he calls on doctors like, yeah, you got to suck it out. So he like, yeah, it says a poker face on right now. And he's like, and he's like so what the doctor says, he's like, you're going to die. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I stand by the wise uh, words of I mean, Kevin Smith. I'd suck a dick to save a life. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it depends who. It has to be someone very important to yeah. me. <laughs> It would have to be very, so it wouldn't very be important. me, Aaron. I'd be like, Aaron, I was bitten the dick. <laughs> I'd be like, well, it's like I'm pretty sure there's some sort of pump, or maybe we could squeeze it out <laughs> and help you with something. Uh, it makes maybe. me wonder, what if one of those penis enlargement pumps? Do you think you can jerry rig that to suck out the poison for you? I think it's the opposite. You might. No, oh. it's, it actually like sucks. Yeah, like, it, it, oh. it acts like a vacuum. Yeah. Pretty much. So someone should just carry it around for <laughs> just in case. <laughs> it's like, why do you have this penis enlargement pup? Are you that? No, no. It's to suck out poison from my friend's crotches. It's like, that's ridiculous. Gosh. Would you suck my dick? No. Okay, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've come prepared. <laughs> I'm ready for this contingency. Unlike the rest of you fools, I got my penis enlargement pump. Watch it. And the guy that doesn't bring his one. They're going to look... Bit. They're gonna look good and they're gonna be poison free. <laughs> <laughs> Heal myself and ready for action. <laughs> Can't you just like tie a rubber band around it to stop like stop the flow? Yeah, if you want to lose your dick. Well, no, I'd rather die. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm Aaron, one guy die. is gonna listen to this is gonna be the guy who had to have his dick amputated. He's like, hey, screw I'm you so guys. Sorry. There's life after dick. I'm but so Aaron, sorry. you got five fingers. <laughs> oh, that is true. They did do that for one guy. They like removed one of his fingers and used it to make a fake penis for him. But how does that yeah. feel? How would that work? I didn't read into the gruesome details oh. of it. I just <laughs> I can't that'd live be, if I don't have one. That'd be very pathetic. It was a very popular topic <laughs> for stand-up comedians everywhere. Really? Yeah, even Jeff Foxworthy took a few shots at it. He was like. I don't use my left arm much. Could we just... <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Holy uh, crap, no. No. I, I cut myself. I see that guy's not using his leg much, and I've always wanted a third one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, real talk, it would just be no point of living. No, I'm not saying that as a horror dog, I'm just saying. He's saying that if you don't have a dick, go shoot your brains out. Just if go you, blow your brains out. Right no, now. no, I'm just saying. I'm Women, he is advice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Aaron's like, no, no. 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 <laughs> then what's the point of having it? <laughs> to show dominance, Aaron. Come See, on. that's the Twilight Zone twist to your story, Aaron. I don't like Twilight Zone. <laughs> I do like Twilight. Uh, what are you, gay? No. Gay. No. Well, I mean, we both saw it, so. Wow. I've seen them all. I, I, I haven't wow. seen the newest. It just seems like a wow. waste. I was just watching it. Why? Just watch. It's it's good ending. 
Is it? Yeah. No. I heard she just gets like eaten from the inside Please. out. It's... Go go watch something good. Go watch The Grey for the love. Go watch. I've the... seen the. Go gray. watch Phantom Menace in 3D. That yes. is probably better. Go. Yes. That movie sucked. No. Phantom Menace. I love Phantom Menace. <laughs> He's what? looking at him like, what is wrong with you? Get out of my house, right? See, this now. is the only time I'll actually see the characters in some, with some sort of dimension. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I, I don't care. I, I like that movie. Even though I don't think we're doing this podcast anymore. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just talking. No. Go. Oh, you know, I, I got it now. I was like, what do you mean? We're recording. <laughs> You know, uh, I'm, I'm go just... go rent Drive. Go Drive was awesome. Go watch that movie. That... Is... No, no, I heard those are bad. Is that the dude that get the, um, you know, the little plugs and put it on his nipples? And that, that's Crank. Oh, Crank. That's okay. Crank yeah. Two. <laughs> crank Two. Okay, I never seen. Either. Crank One was good. Crank Two, I heard mixed things about. Really? I heard the action was fine. <laughs> no hit and miss there. My brother said it was. I might see Crank One then. Crank I One. Just, was, no, I just, I actually Crank, Crank two, One was a pretty good action movie with a nice twist. Uh-huh. So, I still, I just want to see the nipple sparkles. I mean, wait, that what? Cable, what? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the cable cords on you his mean, he juices up with on his nipples. That's two, yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. That's, I mean, why? Wait, is, why? Why would you be so appealed by that? <laughs> Because how often do you see a guy put some cables to his nipples? Well, and a lot if you watch the porn I watch. Yeah. <laughs> Not a topic. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> um, if y'all wonder where that skip came from, we kind of said something and, very inappropriate with, yeah. with that. And, uh, yeah. Stuff that I don't want out there. So, <laughs> if y'all wonder how that she happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, but too well. bad they can't. Abe Lincoln can't Vampire hear. Hunter trailer. I, I, I like Abe Lincoln, you know? I, I like, also like vampires. So I think that's like the ultimate movie for me. Well, I like history. It has and I like in there too, though. I, what? Can, can, you, are, like, uh, Luke, you, can we talk about Haley Williams? While, while in this oh, I'm going to throw something no, at you now. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. This is good. Okay, let's on. talk okay, about this. Haley he Williams. is obsessed with Haley Williams. I'm not the band obsessed with Paramore. No, yeah. Paramore is my favorite band. And you got like five posters. Five right? post- Four posters. Oh, Four. Oh, sorry. Let me explain I'm on that one. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning. He sees one on his ceiling, I, one on the I... wall, one before he gets to the bathroom, one inside the bathroom. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I wake up, I see Haley. I'm playing Xbox, I get bored when I'm playing. I look up just a little bit, I see Haley. I'm not sleeping or playing Xbox. I turn to the other wall. There's Haley. It's like, man, I really don't like that wall up there. So I'm going to turn my head left a little bit. And there's Haley again. Oh, Dude. God. Yeah. I have a painting of Leonard Nimoy I did as Spock with Mirror Spock on the bottom. Kind of like a yin yang. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't get aroused while looking at it. I don't get aroused while looking at it. You know what I see when <laughs> I see those posters? Music. You have poor sure. taste. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to all kinds of music. Okay, I could go for anything from Taylor Swift to Walk a Flock. <laughs> oh my oh, god, god! Really? Yeah. Weren't you the one when you first listened? Like, man, fuck this guy. He's not good. Uh, yeah, Walk yeah. Up. But I mean, if you just feeling very ignorant and want to be loud, I think the only modern band, or at least something that would be considered mainstream, I like is the Black Keys. Because everything else I like is pretty much alternative. Never heard like, of them, but I like their name. <laughs> okay. Because I mostly listen to Clutch, Queens of the Stone Age, Mastodon. Well, I guess the Foo Fighters too. They're kind of mainstream. I just I found out who the Foo Fighters was this summer, right? Hot Buns. Yeah. Yeah. It was like Body was... language. I don't remember any of their songs though. Body I like those language. Dance yeah. <laughs> Body language. Don't talk. Even though that's a Queen song. I would start dancing, but no one can see that. No, I mean, you're free to do it. It'll amuse us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, 30 minutes later, the black guy is still dancing. <laughs> oh, God. How'd you feel if, like, Freddie Mercury sang that right into your eyes? He was like, body language. <laughs> oh. I would be very uncomfortable. Before he had AIDS, though. Just so oh. there's no no risk of anything. No, then we're good. I would still be very uncomfortable. <laughs> but you know what wouldn't make me very uh, uncomfortable? If Haley Williams sang to you. To me. Yeah. Yeah, that would... I guess. Yeah. If there's anything anyone ever wanted to do to me, it would be to... to anything. Like, if she's like, 
I'll sleep with you, but then I'm gonna decapitate you. Well, I, I think I said that <laughs> like a praying mantis. Um, it'd be she's tempting. like, I, I'm a huge fan of the insect world, and my favorite insect is the praying mantis. Oh God, <laughs> it'd be tempting, <laughs> but I would. Like, we will Whoa. make we will make love for as long as you want, but at the end, I will decapitate you and then eat your head to nourish your future child. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say what I want to say. <laughs> no, no, no. Anything of me dying or losing any body part, absolutely not. What, what if, if it was anyone your pinky? else? Huh? Yeah. What if, what it was if it's your pinky? pinky toe? Pinky toe. Because that is pretty, pretty useless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say yes to that. Actually, I can't believe I actually thought about that. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have to lose my pinky toe. That sucks. <laughs> well, it depends. Yeah. How high class you want to go. Oh, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> uh, uh, I can't even know where you want yeah. that. You're like really thinking about it. You're like, I want to say something, but no, I'm not going to say nothing. No. Why are we talking about Haley Williams again? Because, because he insisted. Right. She's an amazing. You're talking about vampires and how Abraham Lincoln was. She would make a very chocolate. good vampire. Pale skin. Very pale skin. Have you seen her? Uh-huh. Red has usually had uh-huh. pale skin. Isn't she naturally a brown brunette? No. No. <laughs> no, she is not. We've been through this, Cole. No. God, I forgot all about that. Oh, my God. I think we're just going to listen to this podcast to listen to your pain right there. You no. Right? <laughs> that's so wrong, okay? That's, that's, that's blasphemy. That's what that is. That is blasphemy. Blasphemy, God. okay. Yes. Blasphemy. Gotcha. Yes. Got it. So you might want to be careful with those words you say there, buddy. <laughs> Whoa. Was that a black man threat? threat. <laughs> How's that a threat? Moody is the gate a la Cthulhu? It's like, hail to Cthulhu. Then you should be worried about a threat. When you start clicking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, wait, wait, wait. What, what's he saying? There Hold are on. trees wait, around wait, wait, wait. here. They pop out of nowhere. <laughs> 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 Arrow or little dog that comes through it's like oh crap <laughs> you can see Cole's just talking something it's like, like, like ah, uh, and I'm getting uh, confused it's like where are there darts and then I see your dad's like I got him <laughs> <laughs> actually you would just stick a dart in my neck and you'd be like wait that's a dummy and then I'd be behind you with a trench knife and be like oh, <laughs> crack so what are you planning to do <laughs> so what are you buying oh I love that guy <laughs> Where are you buying, strange? He's inspired me to become a roadside a merchant. merchant. <laughs> That's how I'll make it in Hollywood. Just be like, where are you buying? What are you selling? I'll buy, buy it at a, a high price. price. What are you guys talking about? Have you not played, played Resident, Resident Evil 4? 4? No. It's on oh Xbox. You have to buy it. It's like one of the best games ever. I think I played it and got smacked by some really huge dude with a hammer and I got pissed. Something like that. That's five. Yeah, that's probably five. Oh. Yeah, I got smacked it was like by a hammer. I'm like, screw this game. I, walk- I literally walked over and like, screw this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how much more you're like four, but it's I'm, way better than five. Yeah, it, well, the only thing that's better in five that's, you know, from four is Mercenaries. That was the only thing that, that was That was the only thing that was better just because you could go online with people, yeah. really. And the characters had special... Well, they always did kind of had special powers, but they were more flushed out as far as special abilities were concerned. <laughs> I remember... Uh, Speaking of getting hit by big things, I remember playing Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was, like, wait, I was wait, expecting wait, this to take going? a completely no, different no, direction, no. actually. And Elder Scrolls was the first, like, that was, like, the first Elder Scrolls games I played. And then I'm like, hey, look, a giant. I'm going to say what's up because, you know, it didn't attack yeah. me and it didn't do anything. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, hey, what's up? And then it smacks me and I fly, like, 100 feet now. I'm like, oh, they oh, weren't kidding when they said this game is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everything was going to be that hard. I'm like, what's the point of being a warrior if you're going to get smacked into the moon? <laughs> That's why you're a wizard. It was the why first time I went out like on my own, too. I went to the city, and then I go, I'm like, hey, giant. Whoa. <laughs> Dead. Those giants are douchebags, too. Yeah, they are. Oh. Strong. They're really strong. Very. Until you hit, like, level, like, what am I, 40-something, 7? You can foos roll down there and fly a little bit. Right? Yeah. Like, well, they'll uh, be stunned even at the max. I right, know the max one will send them flying, actually. Well, uh, won't they just, like, tip over? I think they'll tip. I yeah. think they'll tip. I'm not they won't necessarily fly, but they'll tip. But you can get them off balance. <laughs> I know as I've become, like, a crazy giant hunter in my game, just because now I can kill them so easily, and yeah. they drop a lot of gold. So I'm like, oh, 
You know, pretty much in that game, once I max level and like complete all the side quests, I'm just gonna go like on a mass genocide <laughs> and kill everything in there. That reminds me of uh, Brandon. Uh, what was his last name? Richardson. Richardson. Yeah, he was telling me on Fallout something happened. He got really pissed off, and he literally went around killing everybody <laughs> in the game. Yeah. He killed everybody. There was no one left in that game. <laughs> he killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dedication of hatred right there. <laughs> a big Dude, that's off. a big place. Yeah, oh. yeah I mean, have fun in one. Skyrim trying to find every single person in a town and killing them. Well, uh, I, I didn't say it was going to, you know, be quick. <laughs> is, is it bad it might that, take uh, a year. I got married in Skyrim, but I didn't want to be married to her anymore, so I got her killed. I tried to get married again, it didn't work. I'm like, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> she made me you... pies and gave me 100 gold every day. <laughs> How'd you um, kill her? Huh? Uh, set her on fire. Oh. How'd you set her on fire? I uh, used fire. Oh. I used a fireball. Oh, so you murdered her. He was her. just like... Uh, yeah, I killed <laughs> okay. her. He's like, how about a fireball? I took her into the house where no one was seeing. I killed her. He's oh. like, Kame? Okay. Kame? Lady was like, what are you doing? Really? I told her to do it. She's like, sorry, can't do that. I'm like, ah, oh, you're useless. I carry my stuff. <laughs> yeah. Murder her. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to. She's like, ah. Oh. Uh, you're quite you useless, wait. actually. Wow. And then topical again is, I guess the Mass Effect demo comes out tomorrow. Oh, forever. yeah, that's right. Yeah, I never really played Mass Effect, though. You're really? a loser. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, I here. feel loved. <laughs> right anyway, now. How, how about this? I after, I, after I beat Mass Effect for, like, the third time or whatever, <laughs> I'll let you borrow it. When I feel like getting out of the house. <laughs> um, just maybe. It's a good reason to stay in the house, though, Aaron. Yeah, my brother can play that. Actually, when I was swimming through some videos uh, for the customization, when I paused it at just the right moment, I saw a helmet that looked exactly like the helmet from Aliens uh-huh. that most of the Marine guys wear with the one little eye patch. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> It's a scanner. I think I'm the only person who noticed that, though, because no one else kind of brought it up. I'm like, does anyone else see that? Well, yeah. I mean, I haven't really seen the customization stuff, because I've been They too said there's going to be a lot of announcements this week, because they went gold. Oh, well, you know, the, I've just been, like, focused on Operation Raccoon City. Yeah, don't don't give me that face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm excited for that. Piling on, on my head. head. Sorry, this has been stuck in my head <laughs> the whole time. I was like, are we busting out? <laughs> We want to go with topics. Let's talk about Abraham Lopez. No, I don't feel like I should be on this topic. No, he hates no, me no, enough. no. Who cares? Who cares? He, <laughs> he'll take it. That's what he does. Yeah. He takes it. I'll just be like, I don't like that kid. And that's it. <laughs> what is he talking about me, man? <laughs> I have nothing really to say. You guys know him better than I do. He gets Tr-tr-tr-tr-pia. all the Xbox and I'm dominating. <laughs> I'm an Eli Joe Johnson. That's like his vocabulary right there. <laughs> Joe Johnson? Oh, Joe oh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson, Johnson, Joe. Joe Johnson. Sorry, I say Joe Johnson. Johnson, Johnson I think Johnson. Captain America and the Rocketeer. I, I, I was thinking Jurassic Park 3. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I'm probably I mean, the only kid that doesn't like uh, Batman, Captain America. Wait, why aren't we talking about Abraham? Oh, well, I guess he wasn't that interesting. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Oh, wow. We, we pretty much just summed him up right there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Right. That was fast. Yeah. It's like... Uh, I'm the only kid that I know that don't like all three of these things. Batman, Captain America, and Spongebob. I hate Spongebob with a passion. Why? He sucks. He's loud and <laughs> annoying, and he doesn't even make funny jokes. He just goes, eh, the whole time. <laughs> He's terrible. It's a terrible cartoon, and it should not be allowed on TV. Well, if, if you watch the new ones, and yeah, they're terrible. Yeah, but like, the uh, old, old original Spongebob ones, those were, those I were still, okay. I still couldn't stand them as a kid. It's like, ha ah, Krabby Patty. It's like, what's so funny about that, Spongebob? <laughs> There's no <laughs> truth in this. Krabby There's Patty. There's nothing funny about that burger. <laughs> but he laughs It's a butt serious off. burger. And I'm a serious man. It's it, like, like serious being Spongebob. annoying is funny because like he's just like a noise squid, not Squidward, uh, Miss, not Mr. Crab either. Who's Ms. the Puff? blue? Who's the blue dude? Squidward. Squidward. Oh yeah. Then Wait, who's the it. orange guy? Orange guy. Orange the starfish pink guy. Patrick? Patrick. Patrick. Okay, yeah. So I'm talking about Squidward. He's just Patrick's like, just retarded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He really Are is. they like stoner guys? An exceptional too? individual. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick's my favorite because he's just so clueless. <laughs> oh, we know a retarded guy named Patrick. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, like a flock of plants. But I am. Uh, <laughs> um, I am should we should we tell about that uh, 2K story? Yeah. 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 Okay, ahead. so our group of friends on Xbox were uh, playing NBA 2K a lot, and we were uh, doing this draft mode where you draft your favorite players, and we only played each other. Uh, Patrick, our friend Patrick, he was the worst out of all of us. Uh, you could argue that. But yeah, he was the worst out of all of us, and Ryan was considered one of the best. Ryan destroyed, or no, Patrick destroyed Ryan in one game, just one game. The whole time, Ryan's flipping out, cussing at Patrick, you know, calling him not-so-nice names and stuff. And at the end, at the end, after he beat him, uh, what's it called, uh, Patrick. Patrick goes, good game. He's like, no, it wasn't good game. He goes, shut the fuck up and go home. And then uh, Patrick, he didn't say this to talk trash. He was genuinely confused. He, It was like 10 seconds before he ends, he goes, but I am home. <laughs> <laughs> and then eight, around eight seconds after that, you see Super Saiyan Jesus had left the party. And that's Ryan's gamer tag. That was, <laughs> that was the funniest. <laughs> we laughed so hard. He didn't say a word. I really wish I was there to see <laughs> oh that. Oh, my gosh. That's one of the best Xbox freakouts I have ever seen. I mean, I dish some out myself, but uh, it's it's pretty. It's a lot more has fun with someone one. else. Yeah, it's really fun it's, with someone else's freak. Out. We've all had. To, I don't think Garbo's had a serious freakout. No, it's like, like a, I'll, I'll get frustrated. And I'll just get really quiet. Yeah, you, you're it. the only one that gets quiet. Other people are yelling, like yelling. I know I had that one freak out, and people claimed I had it, but I never remember this. You're like, probably so mad that you forgot about it. Really, like, you said something about dropping trousers. I'm yeah, like, I don't know if I would use that terminology. Yeah, that's what you did. I was like, did he just say trousers? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, everyone's crying. Is like, wait, I was like, oh wait, what? <laughs> yeah. well, it's because eight was like really. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, I got you. Oh, my KD's better. Oh, and then you see he, me and you still beat him. Yeah, it was me, you, and Kevin, and we still beat like the team he was. It on. was that like, oh, you are so great. Drop your trousers so I can suck your dick, glorious leader, in that <laughs> super sarcastic. <laughs> Really, yeah, and he's, voice. he. I, I think that that was that was That's, it. That was it. Yeah, yeah, and everyone Holy just crap. got quiet. Like, well, it's also because I said very sarcastic and angrily. Like, no, you, you know what's funny? He took that seriously. He's like, he said this and this and this. He still says it. I'm like, <laughs> you know, it was you know being sarcastic. He's like, nah, man. I'm like, Abe, really? <laughs> just <laughs> you're the one to talk. Shut up. <laughs> wow. Wow. Very Everyone nice. else knew I was joking, but the guy who it was directed at. Yeah. People live in their own worlds. Well, he, he doesn't understand half the stuff we say anyways. Fair enough. That would be a good world. A world filled with redheads. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, wow, that was a random tangent. Well, <laughs> you, uh, wait, I was no, thinking no. of my own world, okay? You mean, it. um, Daywalkers? <laughs> 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 you, you saw yeah, that picture, I saw right? that. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Not quite, but it's close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Dude, I think yeah, I only yeah. got really angry on Xbox one other time, and I was playing playing Dead Space Two on Zealot, and you oh, were yeah, in yeah. the party. I, I was there. No, you you were playing on on. I hardcore. was on hardcore that time. Yeah, you were on oh, hardcore. Oh yeah. And I didn't at, hear about this. Oh well, he like he was mad, like he was about to kill someone. I was like quiet, like Cole, are are you okay? He's like. Yeah, I'm fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then like, like, I'm fine. Yeah, he's like, I'm fine. You, you'd like stay quiet for ten minutes. Like, Cole, are you still there? Yeah. <laughs> and then like, yeah, like, we wouldn't say anything because he was just so mad. And then every once in a while, I'd be like, Oh God. <laughs> yeah. That's all I heard. I'm, like, all right. I'm pretty just, sure if I did that at Abe, he wouldn't be construed that. Like, I think he it's... might want to murder me. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, I was quiet because I was like, is he going to, like, kill something? Like, I was listening to, like, for, like... You are listening clank. for some sort of cleaver whacking the yeah. meter set? <laughs> I was listening for, like, something, and then it would just be you, like, yelling. and be like, okay, he's still mad. So, okay, <laughs> keep worrying. But yeah, I remember that. That's why I never, ever played hardcore on this. <laughs> hey, I beat it on hardcore. <laughs> You, was it you beat it. Oh was yeah, it I it? beat it on hardcore. That was, I was like one of the handful of people who actually beat it on hardcore. So I would never try that. I got the hand cannon, which was the styrofoam finger, and you go pew with it, and people explode. Pew 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 pew. You actually would do that. It was amazing, and I got a thousand out of a thousand gamer score. Yeah, nice. I was like, yes. 
Now I can throw this game away. <laughs> I think um, the worst Xbox Live freak out I had, I don't know who was in the party. I think Guillermo was. It's back then where Matt, it was like Madden 10 or 11, and my I kept losing connection. You remember that? Oh, wait, and I was there for this was, one. And um, it just cut out. And I think what they saw was like, so-and-so left the party, and when I joined back, I'm yelling at the <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I was mad. It's just kind of sad. It's like, God and I'm yelling at the top. I'm glad my mom wasn't home because I only got a whooping. <laughs> no doubt. I was yelling. I was trying to talk you down. I was like, you okay, Aaron? You okay, my girl? I was like, no, my freaking connection. I was like, get out. Whenever I'm playing Madden. Da, 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 Madden, 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 Madden. I was like, oh, Aaron, God do you want... God damn it. The telephone was like, I'm getting tired of Honestly, this. Honestly, if I was by you and had some morphine, I probably would have injected you. Yeah, <laughs> like, get him like... <laughs> <laughs> then you would have been like, hey, man it's oh, oh good. I, I, can, I can picture me and you grabbing him like Resident Evil you know how to grab Wesker and restrain him yeah. Yeah. it's like I got him he's just like stabbing him in the chest <laughs> he's, more like, he's like no I, is, I don't think I get that pissed off often <laughs> maybe yeah. once every three years or so once yeah. every year and around the same time uh, Madden's released <laughs> whenever <laughs> if, you, if you really want to hear some uh, Xbox Live freakouts all you have to do is at me as a friend, and when the next new sports game come out, there will eventually be one within the first week. Preferably Madden. <laughs> Preferably Madden, yeah. yeah. Gosh, that game pisses me off. So. And yet you, you still buy, buy it. it every year. I'm good at it. I win at it. <laughs> I win. I don't lose at that game, but it's just such BS some of the time. It's just like, why do I play this game? Why? Because you're a masochist? Because I like football. And that's the only, the only thing to play. That, that's it. That explains everything. You're a masochist. You like to be in pain. That's why you like no. to put car jumpers on your nipples and <laughs> spark yourself. Spark yourself. Spark nipples. And I would try that, but it doesn't sound like a good idea. Remember that one time when we were at Abe's house and you almost like beat the crap out of him? Hmm? Abe? When I almost beat the crap out of him. What was this? This is when you guys were playing Madden at his house. house. Uh, yeah, no, and then... <laughs> It was like, I'm going to go away now because he beat you with the most BS tactics. Yeah, because yeah. he's a cheater. He cheats. He <laughs> cheats again. He was cheating. There's no other way. He was literally cheating. I'm like, I'm, I called exactly what he's about to do, but there's no way to stop it. Nothing but exploits. Cheater. But he's winning. <laughs> he was Charlie Sheen before Charlie Sheen was Charlie Sheen. Winning. That's all he cares about. I remember I learned what KD was from uh, Call of Duty uh, World at War. And uh, Guillermo was on his Xbox playing, and Guillermo was getting, like, destroyed. <laughs> He's like, Guillermo, uh, star, you need to stop playing. You ruined my KD. I'm like, what's KD? <laughs> I must sound like hardcore noob right there. I'm like, what's KD? It's like kill-death ratio. I'm it's like, oh, really. how do you even look that up? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not even really a good way to measure how good you are at a game. It would no. be something akin to points per game would make sense because that's yeah. how they actually rank you. Cause... That, 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 that's true. Uh, but no, that can... people KD man, oh my God. MLG Pro. At a certain I, point, esports man, esports. I, I remember in World at War, like I kept on like killing this dude over and over and over, and he sent me hate mail. I was like, yeah, man. He was like, you like you think you all good, but you know what? My KD is better. Da, 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 da. I was like, wait, are, are, like I I replayed. I was like, are you serious? Did he just say KD? KD? <laughs> <laughs> my KD is so much better than yours. <laughs> I mean, my KD was horrible, but. I, I don't care. It was still fun. I was like, yeah, I still whooped your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really should have sent that. Mm. Oh, fun. man, I was a pro at trolling on Xbox. <laughs> man, I would, you send me hate mail, you better be ready for a, a week-long hate message back. <laughs> like, I would oh, troll you. I remember there was that one late chick, we, late whatever woman, we played uh, Nazi Zombies with back in World of War, which was like the only thing I'd play on a Call of Duty game. It was like, do you want to play COD? I'm like, playing zombies? It's like, I guess. I'm like, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, remember, wait. she was like, if you want to kill the only good player on your oh, team, yeah, because yeah. I remember that. No, she I was didn't. halfway on the other side of the map, and we just decided to can't our bucket down where we are and turn on like the death spinning meal the, thing the called flogger. the flogger. Yeah. And pretty much we we like you have to like crawl underneath it so it doesn't hit you. Yeah. Uh, and we were running, and this this one idiot was running backwards shooting at the zombies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like we we turned the machine on and they killed her. And we're like, well, she's stuck there. We're just going to run. So yeah, we can't get her. I mean, yeah. the she's under the flogger, and if by some miracle we get her up, the flogger will end by the time we get her up. Yeah. But um, pretty much we – she she died, and she was blaming us. That, you know, like, oh, you killed off the best player. Even though we still survived that round. Round. Without her, she's like, oh, you killed off the best, best player. Best player. Da, 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 da. 
And then she just kept on like saying that stuff and like mm. uh, people. I don't know. I hate people so much. Don't we all? <sighs> I like certain kinds of people. <laughs> Black people. Let's not even go. There. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. Self-hating uh, black person. You know, just looks at the mirror. It's like, you're what's longer than America. It's just like when you're recording, you don't want to really say what you want to say because that's evidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you go for it. No well, right. What's the worst that's going to happen? Someone on YouTube being like, oh, I don't agree with what you say. Like, okay, okay, cool. I, I really cool. don't care. I mean, I, I like women. I like all sorts of kind of, kind of women. <laughs> no, nah, that's a lie. I yeah, I like black women. Yeah, you know, I like said that. all sorts of kinds, not all kinds. It, we're not even just trying to sound racist. That's literally your go-to. It's like, I would like that girl, but she was black. And... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm not physically attracted to black girls. And you know what? People are going to be like, hey, this guy's racist. Except for I'm Beyonce. actually black. Except for Beyonce and Tyra yeah, there's, Banks. There's always exceptions, of course. Huh. Uh, but Tyra, when she I mean, I'm not even trying to sound racist, but any black person I ask loves Tyra Banks. Or male black person, like, I want to get to Tyra Banks, uh, yeah. You know she was at the Cheesecake Factory a while back. Yeah. Oh, well, Tyra, you should have texted me. <laughs> if you wanted to see some interesting at work, you would have texted me <laughs> that day. Hey, Tyra Banks right now. I would have been there within 15 minutes, and you would have saw a good show. <laughs> I know. Like, after she was like, was like, Tyra, why'd you come here? You brought all these people. <laughs> It made me mad. I can just picture him in the back of the bakery with you. It's like, did she order some cheesecake? Do you mind if I spend some alone time with this cheesecake real quick? <laughs> she ordered cheesecake. Yes, fuck this bitch. <laughs> I hate time bakes. You, you just see me walk off, get a table, sit down, be like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you want to talk about uh, freak outs? Um, no, when... I was just saying Aaron would walk to the back where you're at, and it's like, did she order a cheesecake? It's oh, like, yeah, yeah, here it is. It's like, let me see this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Like Aaron, what's what's this stuff? I don't worry about it. It's just whipped cream. <laughs> okay, I, I got gotcha. <laughs> Like people freaking out on the job. I heard the story how like after every football game in Flower Mound, they would all go to the local water burger, and uh, there was this one guy working, and there was uh, no, there was only three workers there yeah. at the time, and the football team had their girlfriends and their friends, you know, some fans were in there, and it was like. If you order something, you're going to have to wait at least 40 minutes for it yeah. to come out. And uh, so the orders kept piling up. And, like, uh, not only do the people that, you know, take your order, they yeah. have to bring you, like, sauces and all that stuff and your food. And, uh, you know, one lady was, like, uh, bitching about some mustard, you know. Yeah. And then um, he just got really pissed off. He goes, fuck this. And he just walks out. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just quit. On I don't blame him. Yeah, neither do I. I'm like, what the heck? 50 cents, maybe, above minimum wage for that yeah. crap. Screw that. Screw that. Not All even. for a packet of mustard? Dude. Yeah. Well, oh, I think yeah. it's more the straw that broke the camel's back, where she's just like, I want mustard, and I better well, get uh, my yeah, mustard. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, that lady's complaining about mustard? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, people want what they want, you know? They will complain about it. They'll complain rather than take we action. We all work in the service industry. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't realize how much I disliked people until I actually worked at the church. Oh, I always knew. <laughs> well, like, I, I always knew, like, oh, they're, they kind of really bother me, but I didn't really, like, see how much I didn't like them until, you know, I actually worked there. The um, thing about Hobby Town, and I know I didn't like people very much, but the thing is you have to walk up to them, like, is there anything I can help, help you with? with? And I say with a big smile, but what I really want to say is go away. <laughs> Yo, hey. Go away! I don't want you here. I don't yeah. want to serve you. You, yeah. you know, <laughs> please. Or at least you didn't have that creepy guy who walked in with a stack of magazines and asked where the bathroom was. <laughs> what? Someone what kind of that? magazines? They were guns and ammo. Don't worry. Oh. The... And he he what? left. A, see what he did. And Brandon explained this to me. Where he stole the magazines from Market Street, walked to our store, then left them in the bathroom. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, yeah, he walked in the bathroom, got him, and said, you forgot your magazine, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I even told him, like, I'm sorry I wasn't all up front with that guy, but he was kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's one thing. Brendan would, like, um, take care of the, you know, shady people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was good at that. We should have walked in there today, man. Oh, I didn't want to. It had been awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for work. <laughs> Can we please do that one day though? Just okay, be with the one, camera. One maybe maybe this summer or something, you know. 
I don't know. I don't know if we should bring the camera because you know Brian, but like, oh, you know, legal stuff. This because he's a cheap guy. You know. No, I can't. You can't. Not as long as I don't get any pictures of the sign. All right, film any of the sign, because that would be the only trademarked logo. Oh really? That would be a problem. And as long as we're not distributing it for sale. Oh okay. Which we're not. Just entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it's technically private property. They could kind of is it i mean they see like oh look rc private, cars uh, like rc cars uh you know planes <laughs> it's like, i'm ready for work <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right let's do this <laughs> go in the back it's like hey i'm not on the schedule why ain't i on the schedule schedule <laughs> aaron you quit like a year ago what kind of crap is this <laughs> you're still supposed to schedule me <laughs> I come in and go as I please. <laughs> that, it, it, it got to a point where they're just like scheduled me for like four hours, and then whenever that one errand girl wouldn't show up, they just call me in. I'm like, screw this. It's yeah. not my job to pick up her shifts where she has like 38. Years. Well, the, the sad part is you might actually still have a job there if she still had her job. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You're just like. She Dang. was. Uh, That'd be funny if you actually did walk in, explaining to be hilarious, and you're like, "I'm ready for work." They're like, "Oh, good, we had a schedule for tonight." She's like, pretty good looking, ish too. You know, she had a kid and all, but <laughs> how old is she? Twenty uh, one, maybe. Hmm. Oh my god. god! No, twenty probably. Twenty. Dang. So What's I up with people having kids so young? Like I saw. What's up with people having kids in general? <laughs> They're like little jerks. I saw yeah. this quote in, um, by Megan Fox. It's like, we live in a society where losing your phone is more dramatic than losing your virginity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. I mean, isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Parents are like, oh, God, no. no. <laughs> I'm like, hey. Make sure you walk your body, girl, going, hey. Wow, wow. It's like, no, oh, no, no, it's not gonna happen. Like, oh, I guess that's okay. a good point to leave off at. I guess. We're sing- <laughs> God bless you. you. We're singing in the rain. We're Here singing comes the in clouds. the rain. What Here a glory. The clouds. You were just singing it like a minute ago. Raindrops? Oh, wait. I have no idea what you're singing. Oh, raindrops keep falling on my, my head. head. <laughs> <laughs> something, 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 I can, something. I can something. play some Paramore. No, no, no. no, no, no. Hey. We're, 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 we're going to end it now. Keep, keep, 